My eyes ain't faded, everybody wanna know why I'm doing what I'm doing When I get on this microphone, yo, I just lace it Cause the wax is how I go Cause everybody wanna know, yo, do si do And if you wanna dance with me, then we can go Cause I can keep going, yo, I never slow my roll When I'm going, everybody wanna know why I'm doing what I'm doing, yo Besides, my mind is in a dangerous place right now Cause everybody wanna know why I'm holding it down, yo I got the crowd on their feet, putting their hands up, yo Cause I'm kinda unique, do you wanna freak with me? Cause everybody wanna know, TC is... On this phone with this ability Lyrically he's something special Yo, you can just fucking see When you listen to his lyrics Everybody wanna know why He's got the Holy Spirit Always looking to the skies Looking in his eyes Everybody's leaving paralyzed Cause everybody wanna know Yo, besides Cause if you really wanna fuck with somebody else Then you know it's that's gonna pay back for your health And if you wanna take it out Cause everybody knows no doubt You can't see points, but Sorry, I was going to the same really, weren't I? I'm Jamie. That's Mullet. Hi. That's Mullet who hates being called Jamie. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever... That. I, don't, I think maybe I've called you Jamie twice, maybe three times counting in that time. Probably, and I don't remember any of them. Mm. Is, your, is, your, is, your, is your name actually Jamie or is it James? It's James, but um, I don't know why I came oh, on my face. Well, I, I feel betrayed. Mm. Well, dude, I told you my name was James a while ago. <laughs> yeah, no, James is my birth name, but for some reason everyone called me Jamie, so I took Jamie on now if you're talking about so With two T's. Mother, Not one, two. Man, it two yes. Two T's. Yeah. No, fuck off, it's right. my last name and you have to get it right. It's respect. I'm Bam. I've done mine. Yeah. I'm Ross. Obviously. My <laughs> name is Ash. And he will be currently talking like a cockney. Some, and people, some people know me as Hartino, but that's only for my Brazilian friends out there. <laughs> and people are Shave. Well, I'd fuck you know. me. He'd <laughs> <laughs> fuck so hard. And that's at the time. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just exactly. so it's This is about as classy as it gets. Would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me! <laughs> What's so wrong hard. with you? And the first thing I've got on my list here is Ross's dog story. Oh, fantastic. I've been looking forward to hearing it. We've that. been told about a story about Ross's dog. Her name? Her? Her name? <laughs> Freya, bless her, Classic. doom, yeah, like and um, she had one weakness, and that was socks. Without a doubt, socks, she doesn't matter, most often than not, she would eat a sock, and be like, oh, where, fuck's sake, where's my sock gone, <laughs> and then you'd find it in the garden, in a turd. <laughs> That's full of rubbish. Just hanging out. Just hanging out, yeah, oh, well, fuck. But this <laughs> time, for radio. this one time, Mum's doing the uh, washing up. She looks out the window and goes, What the fuck's the dog doing? And what we worked out was that the dog was having a shit, and obviously she was passing this sock, <laughs> and halfway through the shit, the sock came out, but she couldn't go anymore, and the stock was literally stuck in her ass, and <laughs> being a dog, she panicked and sprinted. Everywhere in the garden, <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> shit flying everywhere, windmill, windmill, <laughs> this fucking sock. <laughs> I'm upstairs on my PC. Mum comes upstairs, goes, "There's a fucking sock hanging out the dog." Oh, How am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> I just went, "Righto, maybe you should get it out." Next thing I know, dog. I look out the window, there's my mum, rubber glove, dog hanging there, shaking the shit out of itself, <laughs> and she's gently yanking my bloody fucking puma sock <laughs> out of this dog. <laughs> the same socks he's wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> the very same. I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, but that was my dear dog. And do you know what the sad thing was? It never stopped her. Never stopped her <laughs> getting into the tumble dryer and eating more socks. <laughs> Alright, next on the list, we have a follow-up. Previously, on our wonderful show that we have right here, right now, at this moment in time, we had a question, and I'm pretty sure it was from Ash over the room there. 
saying how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And I think we landed on the point that... 12! He'd be a shit woodchuck if you couldn't chuck a lot of wood. Mm. But, Obviously. after extensive research from our laboratory team... Wikipedia. We have... We have... <laughs> we found out that a woodchuck isn't, in fact, a lumberjack type character. He is, in fact, a groundhog. Also known as a hedgehog. How's that for you, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. You feel about that? So, mind has been blown. how much wood would a groundhog chuck if a groundhog could chuck wood? Probably not I'm very much. I'm going to say... He's yeah, not 12. He's not a very large character to be honest. That's true. So if he could chuck any wood, he wouldn't How do you mouth, find chuck? He he wouldn't get Sorry. into the Scottish Cabra team, I'll tell you that no. much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they generally aren't that good at chucking giant logs. Maybe gnawing at a fucking knot or something like that. Yeah, that's about it really. I tell you what, it takes the fun out of saying of it. How much wood would a woodchuck honestly, chuck if a wood my childhood wood. is ruined. I honestly it's thought a woodchuck was a bloke that, that had an axe. You've, you've it's an animal. It's an animal that actually could go. Is ruined your childhood. <laughs> yes. The, the, the <laughs> Research is the ruin of childhood. It's also ruined a bit of Monkey Island for me. It's at, at and go, and the woodchuck has chucked fourteen wood. <laughs> and be like, okay. <laughs> There's the answer. There's like, an honest statistic for you. And it's ruined. It's not a person. It's some fucking vole with big ass teeth. Yeah, fuck voles. He's not even good enough as a beaver to like make a fucking dam no, no. or anything. He just gnaws on wood. I wonder what Nobin made that. He goes. He comes out of a hole in Punxsutawney and tells the people of the town that there's three more weeks of winter, and that's about it. it Nothing more. Oh, yeah, but it happened for Bill Murray. Exactly. It's the film Groundhog. Day. Punk's a tawny film, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah you can make all the films you want. That's still not going to be able to chuck wood. Why not? <laughs> I don't know and you can own as many films as you like. Go, go but you can't edge, chuck as much wood as a woodchuck. Chuck. <laughs> and then give it a piece of wood. To you you, you may own you Universal know. Studios, but how much wood can you actually <laughs> chuck, sir? <laughs> Can we move on to the next topic, maybe? On the Especially next the topic. Gym, yeah. Right. This is a very odd topic for us because on our very many nights out, especially with Ross, it wouldn't work without Ross, really. On our very many nights out with Ross, it comes to a point in the night oh, he where he throws his arms up in the air and runs off in the distance at the speed of almost light, shouting, I'm going on an adventure! And we, every single night that this happens, we never see him again until the morning when he can't really crawl. What what happened? So it's the question nice is, what happens on Ross's adventures? Well, here we are. Um, there's there's been a few. I'm not going to lie. There's there has, has been a few. Would you like to hear one or? Can we hear the one where you're in jail or the one where you end up getting molested? Pick the one you remember the most. Wow. Yeah, well, he doesn't remember any of them. Because from our point of view, all we see is your shadowy reflection with your arms up in the air just disappearing into the distance. The one you remember the most will probably be the least entertaining because you've been sober enough to remember most of this is true. true. Remember the one that you've got <laughs> the vaguest memory of. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that obviously, it. obviously then, there's the one where we did the Golden Mile. 12 uh, hubs, 12 that, pints. That wasn't really an adventure though. It we wasn't a split. It. It was just, there was on. me, Trevor, Ash over there. I was there. A few I was. Mullet, of course. Hey! And that was where I just declared that we were going to finish it and go for an adventure. But that's not the it first. It wasn't really much of an adventure, more of a cab ride to someone else's. The trouble is, when I've had too much and I've had a few, the mind disconnects from the rational. And as soon as I see, go, I see, ah, I know her or him. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'll go do what they're doing. <laughs> Boom. And without like rationalising it or going, nah, I'm with them. I'm with them. I'm not going to do that. But 
Oh my god, they're fishing. I'm going over there and I'm doing it. It doesn't matter what it is. He doesn't, he doesn't have a fishing rod. He just sort of like stands there and screams because I steal your fishing rod, alright? This is the trouble. Dangle his cock in the river. Trouble is, oh, I oh, will god, run man. off and. <laughs> just, I'll run off and the next thing I remember is I'll wake up in bed. And where do you always end up? You always tell us you always end up in the same fucking place. Ben. And that is liquid. I always end up with a drink in your hand. I always end up in liquid with a fucking vodka, I assume, and it's not Red Bull. It's some fucking <laughs> kit or some bullshit like that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm there and I'm standing Cheap like that. I'm standing like that. This man intentionally gets his drink spot. There's there's a woman friend, He's probably her taking friend, and, realize, and another one, and like this, and the stark realization comes along like, where? What? Why am I here? How did I get here? And then you're like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and then you dance for life. I don't care.